Hi there, welcome to my channel. If you're a new viewer, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. In this channel, I am building a biggest library of Python, AI, ML, MLOps, and generative AI. So if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and leave your questions in the comments area. I am more than happy to help you. Today, I'm gonna to be solving number 11 from Code Signal, which a lot of companies are using to hire you and me. Let's get one that going. I've got my code signal on the left side of my screen. I've got a Jupyter Lab on the right hand side for me to be able to teach you. Let's see what number 11 is about. Ticket numbers usually consist of an even number of digits. So this is one thing we need to keep in mind. We need to check if it is even or odd. A ticket number is considered lucky if the sum of the first half of the digits is equal to the second half of the digits. Pretty easy, isn't it? Given a ticket number, determine if it is lucky or not. So there are multiple things we need to check. One, are the number of digits even? For example, does it have four digits? That's number one, test number one. Then test number two is one and two equal to three and zero. Of course it is, because if I add one and two equals three plus zero. So I need to return true. So this is a very simple one, but I will run you through every little bit of information you need to know. So let's make my Jupyter Lab a bit bigger. Let's use n equals 1230 as an example. And then checkpoint number one, is the number of digits equal to an even number or an odd number? To be able to check the length or the number of digits, it's very easy for me to convert a number into a string, then capture the length. So I will write the string of n. You will see that now it is not a number, it's a string. And then once converted to a string, I can check the length. So this one is an even number, number four. Checkpoint number one. If length of str of n is dividable by two, then print even, else print odd. You will see that because value four is dividable by two, then it prints even, and you can see that. So once I make this, for example, like that, the length will be five, and you will see that it's an odd number. So this is test number one. So before I go ahead into the route of, hey, is a first half addition to the second half addition equal, I will need to make a decision, what happens if it is odd? Well, if it is odd, I will say print false. So that one is sorted. Now, if it is even, I will need to calculate the first half and the second half, add them together and compare if they are the same thing. So how do I find the first half? Well. Let's still think in a string uh -huh. format. So I will copy the string format, paste it down here. So I'm still thinking in string format. Let me just change this to a even value so that I can show you the first half and the second half. So I've got the string of n. If I run it from zero to two, you will see that I have one and two. And if I run it from two to the end, you will see that I have three and zero. Let me just compare it here to 1230. If I want to find the first half, I will have to go ahead from zero to two. That will give, that gives me 12. And if I go to from two to the end, it will give me 30. So how is my brain doing this? Well, let's think about this. The length of string of n is four. And if I find the floor division of that value by two, it will give me two. So I can simply copy this and paste it here. That will still give me 30. So I can call this the second half. This is how we write second. So that's gonna be the second half. And if I wanna find the first half, all I need to do is to move that colon all the way to here. And let's call this one first half. And if I print first half and print second half, you will see that I will get 12 and 30. So this is easy now. Once I have found the first half and the second half, all I need to do is to add them together. Let me get rid of this one. Now, you may ask, okay, Amir, we've got the first half 
which is one and two, it's in a string format, how do I add one to two? There are multiple ways you can do that, but if I show you for number in first half, print number, you will see that I can get them one by one, but just be sure you convert it to an integer because it's a string. Once you have it as, a, as an integer, you can keep adding it into a container. So sum first equals zero. And every time you run this, you can say, I want sum first to add to the number. If I print sum first, you will see, sorry, I need to make this one an integer of the number. And you can see that I have added the first half, which is one and two, to become the sum first. I can do exactly the same for the second part. So sum second, copy that, put it here, put it here, and make this second half. I wanna look at the second half, and you can see that the second half is also three. Now I will say if sum first equals sum second, then print, true, which it does print true. Now let's put it all together. What we will do, we will receive some n value from the user. We know what happens if it is an odd number, we will return false, but in the case it is an even number, we need to calculate the first half and the second half. Let me put it up here, indent this one. Okay, then once you have done that, you will calculate the sum first. So let's do that here. I need to indent them. And then I need to calculate some second, put it up here, indent these ones. And then I have to check if they are the same. So paste that one here and indent this one. And let's run that. You will see that for this value, n equals 1230, I'm getting true. There is another example here. Let's copy that value here, put it here, run that. You will see that it didn't print anything because if the sum first equals sum second, print true. Else, if they are not the same, still print false. You will see that 239, if you add them together, the answer will be 14, but one and seven is only eight, so it is false. So let me copy all of that and extend my code signal and indent there. Make sure everything is indented down here. So these ones. The next thing I need to do instead of printing, I need to change every print command to a return. So return there because this is a function. Return there and return there as well, run the tests. And you can see, ta-da, 10 out of 10, that was correct. Let's press submit and ta-da again. We have successfully finished this one. If you have any questions, put the question in the comments area, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you later.